a big hello from me and Lenny. So, you have just started on your Medtronic pump. How exciting! You may be wondering what insulin pump therapy is, and you may have lots and lots of questions, and that's okay. Lenny and I are so excited to tell you all about it. Are you ready, Lenny? Let's go! Lenny, can you tell us what is insulin pump therapy and why is it so important? The cells in your body need energy so you can run and play and do all the things you like. Energy comes from the foods that we eat. Glucose from carbohydrates gives us the most energy. Our body uses a special key called insulin and insulin makes sure the glucose is used properly to give us energy. In type 1 diabetes, the body cannot make insulin. So, we need to use insulin pens or insulin pumps. Insulin pumps deliver insulin to your body and this insulin helps your body to use the glucose properly, giving you the energy to do lots and lots of fun activities. Lenny uses insulin pump therapy to manage his diabetes. Lenny, can you tell us more about your insulin pump? Lenny's insulin pump has three main parts, the pump, the reservoir, and the infusion set. Let's learn more about each one. The pump. Lenny has this with him all day and night. It's about the size of a deck of cards. Inside the pump is a reservoir, which Lenny fills with insulin from a vial. Attached to the reservoir is a long tube with a cannula at the end. This is called an infusion set. The cannula is attached to a space on his tummy. When it is time to change his infusion set, Lenny makes sure he places the new infusion set in a new space. The pump, reservoir and infusion set are all connected so that the insulin can travel from the reservoir along the infusion set tubing and out through the infusion set placed on his body so that Lenny can get the insulin he needs. Lenny, shall we take a look at how your pump works to give you the insulin you need? Lenny's pump uses only one type of insulin. It is the quick-acting insulin that he would have had for mealtimes when he was using insulin pen injections. To ensure Lenny gets the insulin that he needs, the insulin pump delivers quick-acting insulin in two ways. Whether it's sleeping, reading, running or eating, Lenny's insulin pump is able to give him the right amount of insulin so his glucose levels don't rise too high or fall too low. It all depends on his activity and Lenny's insulin pump understands this really well. Let's find out more. The first type of delivery is called basal insulin. Your pump delivers small amounts of insulin to you throughout the day and night. It is sometimes known as basal insulin rate or background insulin because it is always working in the background and giving your body the insulin it needs, no matter what you are doing. With the help of his diabetes healthcare team, Lenny has set up his basal insulin settings on his insulin pump. Lenny's settings for his basal insulin may differ from yours, and that's okay. The second type of insulin delivery is bolus insulin. This is when you program the pump to give a larger dose of insulin for specific activities, like when eating food. This is known as a bolus. Lenny uses bolus insulin for meals and snacks or to correct a high blood glucose. Lenny, is there anything else you would like to share with us? Oh wow, this is amazing! Can we learn more about exercising? I see that you're using a special feature on your insulin pump before you are going to exercise. Lenny, what is that special feature called? Temp basal or temp target. This is interesting. What do you like about the temp basal and temp target features? Ah, I see. The temp basal or temp target feature 
allows you to reduce your basal insulin delivery to avoid you having low glucose levels. I can see the temp basal or temp target feature is very useful. And I can also see that you really like this feature. Can the temp basal feature be used for anything else? I see. You can use the temp basal feature to increase your basal rate if you are sick and your glucose levels are a bit higher than usual. This is all very interesting. We were wondering, Lenny, what do you do with your insulin pump when you go swimming? You disconnect your pump and leave it somewhere safe before you go for a swim. Do you always have to disconnect your insulin pump before going for a swim? I see. We need to speak to our diabetes healthcare team and they can decide what would be best for us and our pump. Lenny, where do you leave your pump when you are sleeping? So you can attach your insulin pump to your pyjamas using a clip. Or you can place it inside your pocket if your pyjama has one. Or you could sleep with it under your pillow. Is there anything else you would like to share with us today? Ah, you would like to remind us of something very important. I see. Even though you're using an insulin pump, there may be times where you still have to inject using an insulin pen. And even if you are using continuous glucose monitoring, you would sometimes still need to use your blood glucose monitor. I think it is a good idea to keep your insulin pen and glucose meter with you at all times. Well done, everyone! And thank you, Lenny, for telling us all about insulin pumps. It was great to see you again today, and we hope to see you soon.